next question. Sorry about this, but it's important for us to understand. Can I have my whiteboard back that I can go to the gentleman with his questions? You asked about what we called the totality of how to write a formula. You have written a formula. Now you consider the speed of the motion of the plasma, which you are created or you travel within or you are part of. The other problem you have is how do you again go on understanding your, what you call the mass. Don't forget your own mass is internal. But in its internal operation has many dimensions. When you consider the mass itself is magnetic and gravitational base. Itself has to have a limitation of, of itself, which is the body of the man, and its environment, which allows it to grow into. Now your dynamo becomes a little bit bigger. Because what has created the mass itself, it dictates the speed of its motion too. Not only internally, but in respect to the environment which is operating in. In many of the teachings, I explain a simple way, simple word, and nobody have understood. It's in the book, I think, number one or two. I always say, I think it's maybe in book number three, that the universe cannot grow in the unicos unless the other universes do not give the space for it to exist. This comes out of the present theory that the universe is expanding. It can only expand to the limit that the others allow it to exist, that it does not endanger their existence. In so many ways, the only condition of the existence of the mass is the magra positioning of the others in respect to each other and the universe we exist. It can only grow and it can only exist in that space and nowhere else. Because if the spaces of, let's say, F and D does not create more than five centimeter gap, this gentleman here cannot be more than, most probably, four and a half, because it has to fit in here. Even though it has its own mass, but its mass in respect to position has partially gets dictated by the environment it is in. Do you gain more mass by absorbing more energy from the environment of where you're trying to coexist? Or do you reduce mass? So the mass in the universal plasma constant does not exist. And this is another assumption which is made by Einstein. This is where, when you think and work in universal condition, now that you understand the totality work of the universe, have to understand the reality and cannot ignore what is the transformation, the transition, and the total existence of the fields in so many ways of the whole environment in this part. Then, maybe then, maybe then, you can write an equation for the energy of the 
entity in a given point, in a given condition, in respect to a given strength of the plasma. Working with plasma, understanding it is easier than measuring it and formalizing it, because you run into a huge problem. The way man has made his own mathematical formulas with a lot of assumptions from the beginning of the time when the scientists start putting things together. Because they worked on the matter state and we can tangibly feel the matter state, we have accepted to be the sacrosanct and that's the only way it is. But now that we understand the work of the plasma, now that we understand the positioning of the plasma, now that we understand each plasma at a given point can have characteristics of many, many entities depending on what strength you're standing to look at, then you find out we are battery cut. Now, so what we understand in the totality, when we consider writing a formula, we have to understand the totality work of the fields, not only internally, but externally too. It goes back to the pictures we saw. Man inside, through the strength of his emotion, would like to be different. In respect to the environment which is conditioned itself, it changes its color and its appearance. So, we've seen it in the life of the man on this planet. And there is no different in the space. How do you write a formula for energy conservation? Is to understand the whole totality of the energy conversation. If you don't do, is the easiest way is to work with no formula, the way the rest of the universal community works. You feel the strength of the soul, the strength of the source, the strength of the totality, and in desire, the dictate the position where you want it to be. If the will is not strong enough to trust in the conversion, we take into the hands and the boards of what we call spaceship. If we don't know how to drive, but we want to get from A to B, we get a taxi. It's the same. We don't understand the work of the strength of our soul. We join a spaceship which carries the ethos of our soul. In so many ways, a spaceship is a ship for the man to cover the space of universe. But, first of all, he has to understand the space of his own soul. Otherwise, he doesn't exist. Now, you write the formula. Ignore thermodynamic, because in so many ways it does not exist in the universe. Ignore the assumptions made by so many, and use your own understanding of the totality. Try to take it a step further. Try to understand it totally. And maybe you can write a formula of life in the universe. Because it cannot be so simple. As I said, I deal with the children in the kindergarten who like to play, I give you the cores, and I give you the Gans making machine and nano coating. You speak at the level of the, what I call first and second year, I write you and give you the knowledge of the universe and understanding of total of knowledge. And when you grow up to understand more, I'll give you the secret of life. You sit and embed it in the understanding of the creation, as a physical entity, at any levels of the creation. What might be surprised to you, but I've explained many times before, is this. 
and then you might understand. If you look at the plasma, I am manifested at this, while I'm manifested at this, while I'm manifested at this, and while I'm manifested at this. I am the same, but according to the eye of the observer, at that point, I am everything. I am the beginning, I'm the end. Depends, are you standing here, or are you here? So, a plasma to you, might look green, and running as the speed of light, but, to another observer, at the point of P, is doing, at thousands of times, the speed of light. Because, it's at the higher strength. So, do we, or, are we, observers, of multi-entity, in the depth of the space of the universe, at any point, the answer is, yes. Now, the only way you can write a formula for it, is to understand the strength of the soul, of yourself, and in that strength decide, in which point of the strength of your soul, you like to be observed. So, so many people speak about multi-dimensions to be at the same place at the same time. As a plasma, you can be, but it depends on the point of the observer. Do I see you as a human in position A, and do I see you as a Martian in position B? Is that due to transition points, Mr. Cash? No, it's always there is a point of observer, observation. We have to rewrite the world of the science of the man, if you understand what is on the board. Because now we deal with the reality of existence. We deal with the essence of creation. We understand no assumption, and we understand the coexistence of the totality is within the structure of the one self. This is where human race has had a lot of problems. How far do we go? How deep we go to understand the reality without assumption? And the only place that you can exist without assumption is within the soul of the man. Because through the emotion, you manifest yourself according to the filter strength which you have put in there. If you understand, this is the structure of the soul of the man, A is Venus, where B is Earth. And then, if you like to be C, you end up to be Saturn. But, they all coexist, and the same thing from the same soul, which is the center of the sun's gravitational magnetic. If you understand this, you understand even our sun manifests itself in different shapes, in different positions. Why shouldn't it be the capability of the soul of the man? There are no exceptions in the world of creation. It's for us to understand the totality, then we shall pray to no churches and no mosques, because we are aware of the reality of the existence. Some need formulas to confirm their own level of understanding. Some need to understand the strength of the soul of themselves, they don't need no formulas. And some will escape, I don't understand. Let the others do it. When they finish, I'll have a bite of it.